just go ahead and get our day started. I think this is gonna wake me up. I'm a little bit tired, but yeah. So in my menace, y'all, I asked my aunt this and I asked Instagram and TikTok, but sometimes I just be straight going in with toothpaste, no water. People was like, you gotta rinse the bathroom off the toothpaste. First of all, I don't even really use this bathroom. But second of all, I never heard that before. So that cracked me up, but yeah. Doing the most sugar. Okay, so while I'm washing my face, I can kind of tell y'all, I'm using like a gentle cleanser. I have everything on my LTK, but um, today, we are celebrating part two of my cousin's 16th birthday. On her actual birthday, we went to dinner. I don't really have that much horizontal footage from that. So, yeah. But we went to Ruth Chris. My aunt had took her flowers to school and um, took her to get her nails done. And then after that, we went to dinner at Ruth's. And then um she got her a chocolate cake some balloons stuff like that and um today since you know she's in high school so we didn't want to do a dinner in the middle of the week we decided to wait till friday we're gonna go to a seafood spot um i think that's gonna be pretty nice because I haven't had seafood in a while, so kind of craving that. Yeah, that's what we are doing, but I'm gonna get out there a little bit early. They do live like an hour away from me, so I'm gonna go out there, do whatever. Like I might have to do a little shopping and stuff. Um, I wanted to get her a shirt to match um, her outfit for tonight's dinner. Her friends are coming, some family's coming. Um, but one thing, so she was like, supposed to get an iPhone. I was supposed to get her a pink iPhone for Christmas. Um, I wasn't about to buy it flat out. And around that time, I feel like companies was like, nope, you can't add on this for your upgrade. You gotta buy it flat out. Because I go back two weeks later when it's not Christmas time and guess what? I'm able to go ahead and add the iPhone to my account. So, hmm, right? So with that being said, I was able to go ahead and get it because I did not want to pay $1,000 for no phone flat out. Um, So I upgraded my business phone and I upgraded her cell phone, but she doesn't know that, that yet. And she kept asking like, am I getting my phone? Like, I know I'm getting my phone. Like, I better get my phone. And I'm like, no. I'm not getting you a phone. So what I did was I buried the iPhone in a bag. On top of that, so it, the bag will feel heavy. Y'all know I'm getting back into books. I'm gonna show y'all the two books that I'm reading when I go downstairs. But um, I'm getting back into books and I want her to read too. And she's been reading a little bit with us. So I'm piling like four books on top of that. So she's gonna really just think, oh, the bag is heavy because there's books in here. This girl really did not get my iPhone. So, yeah. 100%, this definitely helps to slow down the hair growth. This is one week post-wax, and I'm not really seeing or feeling any hair growth. So, that helps to, um, with consistent waxing, um, exfoliation, hirsutism oil, like, it slows down the growth. Like, some people was like, no, I see growth immediately, like, within the next two days. And it's like, no. When y'all see me waxing, snail mucin, when y'all see me waxing, that's two to three weeks of hair growth. So it's never immediate for me. Like my skin looks like this until maybe two weeks or a week and a half when it's time, like close to the time for um me to wax. So yeah, I don't, because people are like, how do you go out in between waxes? post my wax at the end of this video that I did a week ago this never want to work it 
sunscreen, by the way. Apparently there's a debate about if you wash facing the shower or facing away from the shower. And I just want y'all to know, as they said, you're supposed to be a rotisserie chicken turning around in that shower. Like, <laughs> but mom. That's all I'm doing here. Time to go get dressed. I actually wanted to show y'all my little study not study it's like my closet library or book nook in my bedroom and i rearranged it yesterday and i absolutely love it it's not too much different if you guys have seen it before but um this is what it's giving or well, well not all the books but some of my newer books are on these shelves and then um I have book sets over there stacked on the floor thinking about getting some filler shelves here because it looks a little like okay books plain books so thinking I'm gonna do that and then this is what it's giving over here that section right there zoom in that's books that I have finished which is two and it's only January 19th so hello that's the book I was mentioned in. I'm not going to show y'all every single book in here, but it's a cozy vibe. Absolutely love it. And actually behind here is my pajamas, sweatshirt, sweatpants, leggings, activewear. This is what this is given, but you don't really see that when you're looking in here. So I like that it's tucked behind the door, but I just wanted to show y'all that since y'all spending a day with me today wanted y'all to see what I've been really working on and I've been really diving back into reading. I'll show y'all my books when I go downstairs. I wanted to wash this, like the closure part, but I just did not do it last night and I totally forgot. Or is it the bombshell? They look bombshelly. But I'm typically pulling from the diva. It keeps dripping, so I just have to do that. Alright, see, like, I ain't really gotta do that much. And lately, I haven't been doing my foundation first. I would do concealer first because it also helps me to not have to do too much so I just do like that one thing I did forget to do that was my brows so while this like kind of dry down a little bit I'm gonna go ahead and do brows probably because they appear lighter than in person so I have to look in the mirror to actually do these. I need to turn my ring on because I feel like my, my aunt is going to call me. Alright, so foundation. I go with my more orangey foundation which is my NARS. Ugh. And this is my Kisses. And this is a little too orange for me, so I typically mix it with my Revlon Brown Suede, I believe this is. I think it's called Brown Suede. This is 513, I don't know if it's Brown Suede, but I'm not gonna do that because I actually need a little orangey type of feel. I'm neutral undertones, but when I just go straight on with foundation, or concealer rather I want a little bit of a little warmth if that makes sense I don't know it makes sense to me 
because I feel like ultimately I'm mixing this a little bit with my concealer since I'm going around in areas that I didn't do anything to. I don't try too much to go on top of that concealer, but I definitely try to blend out the edges of where I put concealer. Remnants of what's left over and do my forehead. It's really not much on there, but I don't really like wearing too much makeup on my forehead. That's how I do. Didn't I tell y'all? Didn't I tell y'all? But she just gotta wait though, cause I'm filming. But I'm not gonna take too much longer, to be honest. But then I go in, this is my Laura Mercier. Typically, if I'm doing like full face, full face, like I will go in with a banana powder from Black Radiance. But I just go in with this one, which is a translucent powder from Laura Mercier, as I mentioned. I feel like I get a brighter under eye with this without having to do too much concealer. I do like to let this bake a little bit um, to get a little brighter. But then I go in with my contour powder, per use, add a little more dimension to my face. And I don't even know if it's contour, I think it's a foundation powder that's just darker than my foundation shade, so I use it as like a bronzer. So that's how I do my little full face type of vibe without having to do too many products and then I just set with the same powder I did my little wig cap with and that's pretty much it do my little spray I do a gloss or a matte lip and that's my face look at my pencil love tower 28 love them so i don't know if i'm gonna do like the more ready one what we doing what we doing okay because it's not like super pigmented which is what i like about it but i do feel like if it starts to give off too much red i just like mute it out with the pink which I feel like gives it a more, one is more jelly. Like this is a more jelly type of gloss to me and this is like a more satiny one, but I'm gonna take both of them with me if I can remember to grab them. So that's pretty much that on my face. I'm gonna do a little bit of foundation here. And it could just be a hair stuck under it, lifting it up a little bit, but I don't want to touch it, so, and I still touch it. Alright, that's all I'm going to do. That's it. That's all. I'm tired and I'm hungry. I'm hungry too. I'm definitely going to get me a snack. Than his hoodies. Yeah, he'll put like shirts and stuff on under. With the majority of them is just plain white tees. But what about the days where it's hot? You can't have on no hoodie. Like, you're not about to just be walking around with no shirts and shirts on. I'm gonna get them. It's too warm. It's cute. It's one black thing that ain't going well. I'm about to say, no ungrateful kids. What you got in your cart? I hate taking on and off boots. Something cute. You know why I didn't realize that I was doing that. I was hyping myself up.
And this is what I keep my annotation stuff in. I can't really open it with one hand, I don't think. Close my book. But yeah, that's that. This is currently what I'm reading. If he had been with me, I got to like chapter eight or nine. And then I'm also reading Twilight, which is taking me a little bit longer to finish. I don't know why. It's probably because I've seen the movie. Okay, I meant to actually show y'all this. I showed y'all a little clip earlier, but it looks better with everything. So this is her cake and stuff. Very cute. That's a part of the book. My eye got her like all this little pink stuff, which is cute. She put it in this tray. The balloons were from her actual birthday. My aunt had got her flowers and the teddy bear as well. She's waiting for today to cut her cake because today is her actual like everybody dinner. And then these are, this is like the gag gift over here because she don't know what's really in there. So I'm gonna try to film her reaction if I could remember. But if I don't get it, I'm gonna try to get it on my other phone like vertically because horizontal will be like a giveaway. But yeah, that is that. And I don't know if y'all know, but Jersey Mike's is a sandwich place, but they also do it where you can get it in a bowl and it's just like a salad. It's so freaking good because I typically like iceberg over romaine, even though I think they say romaine is better or the other mixed greens and all the other stuff. But anyways, I like the crisp, crunch, fresh, light tasting, um, <laughs> iceberg but yeah so this is a salad i got i get the turkey and provolone add jalapeno honey mustard mayo oregano <laughs> oh i'm vlogging uh, she get on my nerves you should attend for valentine's day it's next week huh? it's huh? a week three it's weeks week. girl look at the lip with the I don't like the, oh, that's the new nude. I was like, why does that look familiar? The wind is blowing. Oh, how cute. Oh, she she joining the book club. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Your other book's over there. That's it. Is it no books? It's annotation stuff. Wow. Wow. <laughs> so annoying. Y'all, I'm just now getting home. It's 3 a.m. There was traffic for like 30 minutes. I was so pissed because I was supposed to be home <sighs> half an hour ago. But anywho, I'm about to take it down. You know, gotta do the nighttime. Like, I really don't even take, feel like taking off this makeup or nothing. My cycle came down heavy, which I'm actually glad about because um, if you don't know, like with PCOS, either your cycle is sometimes super duper heavy or it's almost non-existent the imbalance of hormones are just like crazy but i don't know what triggered it to um come on today but i'm not mad at it like i'm happy you know but with that being said i am about to take it down and honestly i'll probably see y'all tomorrow if i'm gonna close out this vlog so um i will see y'all tomorrow and either close it out or do some things tomorrow and then close it out but um yeah you're either gonna see uh well i do think i want to put that full wax in this vlog i feel like i should so i think i'm gonna put the full wax in this vlog as well um i do have some filming to do tomorrow so i think that's what i'm gonna do um show y'all some of that what that looks like and that's pretty much gonna be that birthday week was a success for talia's 16th um i think she thoroughly enjoyed herself i love her 100 percent 
but I absolutely adore Happy Talia. Like, it's a different energy she gives off. And because sometimes she can be like me. And I'm just like nonchalant, like kind of blast sometimes. And, you know, just to myself. But I love seeing her like in her extroverted type of era and, you know, smiling, giddy, just, um, oh, she also like hugged me and I'm like, I get hugs. Anyway, she probably gonna see this and be like, girl, but no, like I love happy. I adore happy Talia, but I always love her. Okay. Um, and it's, uh, you know, your great company when people can step out of that, you know, bubble of theirs and really be themselves and enjoy themselves and live out loud. So I love that for her. But anyways, um, I will see y'all tomorrow because your girl is tired. Literally about to go to sleep holding the phone tired. Okay. So tiny. Her face is scrunched up and her eyes are closed as if she were trying to block out the world. Wow. I say again. This is a person who didn't exist before her fingernails. He says, forget that Jamie and Sasha are sitting close together as if it were right. The others are all behind us. Jamie, Sasha, as we walk as if. All right, I was supposed to come yesterday and talk to y'all, but I just chilled. I've been back and forth, backing, <laughs> back and forth to Greensboro for my cousin's birthday and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty tired and I think, well, I was pretty tired yesterday. So I just literally took advantage of sleep, um, and resting and listening to my audio book. I have an hour and a half left on this book. I'm scared, but it's okay. It is okay. We're going to get through it. This, these are the TLB products. It's a toner, makeup remover, balm, cleanser and a moisturizer. I actually like this line. This is like my fourth time using it and it's been pretty decent. Like I don't have any complaints about it. So yeah. Okay. No big deal, he says. Then he left the radio on and we leaned back and can read it. I didn't say nobody could read it. I like this. I on our way to the all night drive through, I take off my spinny now. I said that he was still with Silver Round. One more back. Come on. I can't really imagine Sylvie in an art museum. You know, you Uh oh. Come here. Yeah, this is crazy. It's a team. I'm going to get this case for now. I mean, this um, screen for now. It's a good. TJ Maxx. Okay. Just be missing out. And I got a lobster. Wow. Damn. Because <laughs> I would have been like, you're here, service dog. She's going to think she just ain't one of the bears. I was by myself. Doing the own thing. Mm-hmm. She's going to say She's talking about, it's a lot going on. It's a, it's a lot going on. Mm-hmm. Wait, what's this? I used this in the shower? The shower gel version is the clarifying. Oh, so good, even better than I thought. I said, I ain't gonna do it. Everybody thinks it's not shower. Yeah, I'm skincare. <laughs> he continues. Our appetizer comes, and my dad. Okay, good afternoon. I am off to a late start, but a start nonetheless. Honestly, I stopped being hung up about what time I got up because what I would used to do is. Basically, I would be so upset with myself for sleeping too long, staying up all night to the point where the next day I did the exact same thing, not even really thinking about, girl, this is all you were mad the night before. Stop being mad at yourself and just use the hours that you are up late at night to be productive or, you know, not just lay around scrolling. So, yeah, I stopped being upset with myself with sleeping late. Do I still want to get up early? Yes. Yes, I do. But am I going to be mad at myself for sleeping later? No. No, I'm not. So, yeah, there's that. Going to do a little snail mucin and a little moisturize with SPF and that's it. Sometimes I use Aquaphor, which I prefer. 
So yeah, there's that. I like how it sprays so easily. Okay, so whereas my other one, it sprays, but it sprays like chunky. And it's from yours, like I like it, but I don't like the application, I gotta rub it in. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm doing. For my hair, I wanna do a scarf, which is behind me. I wanna do this scarf here. Two birthdays ago, which still had the tags on. It was very difficult while he was touching me to frame a coherent question. Whispers. But how can it be so easy now? I pressed. This afternoon, I am sorry about that. Still that possibility that I might be overcome. He breathed in the scent of my wrist. I was human. So there's no possibility now? Mind over matter, he repeated, smiling, his teeth bright even in the darkness. Wow, that was easy, I said. He threw back his head and laughed. Here we are. I'm gonna go grab some food. All right, but before we do that, I wanna actually test something really quickly. So you guys are on my iPhone 15, which is my business phone. I still have the 14 as my personal phone. Um, so I actually, I'm, oh my God, I'm getting it messed up. I know y'all gonna be like, girl, you do not need any more gadgets and gadgets. Just give us our vlogs. But I'm always, I'm just a tech girly in my head because I really don't be knowing too much. But I really love technology. I love cameras, like digital ones, ones I can take videos on, all of that stuff. Um, but by the way, I just got a $17 one from TikTok shop. It's just for pictures though. But y'all yeah, know I had the DJI Pocket 2. They came out with a Pocket 3. So I got it. Um, my little cousin is starting vlogs. I think my sister is potentially going to start vlogging. Um, so they're probably going to get my Pocket 2. But I had to get the 3. I didn't have to. But I got the 3 because it is just amazing. Like, should I do the battery? I guess I'll put the battery one on. After seeing reviews, and I already love the Pocket 2, they're going to be like, but you just got the, what is it called? The Insta360. I love the Insta360. However, I don't like that it doesn't have a removable SD card. So I have to, I like to capture a lot of footage, even though I, I'm not, I don't always post it. I like to capture a lot of footage. So on that one, it's limited to like 32 or 64 gigs. And then I have to transfer it over to my iPad because... I did have the thing where I could, okay, let me slow down. So for the Insta360, I have to transfer the footage over to my iPhone on my iPad. Then it'll drop it. Oh, I might be able to uh, transfer it directly to my computer. I'm not sure. Maybe with an app or something. But what I was doing was transferring it to my iPad, then to my computer. That took a lot, long time, whatever. At first, I was putting in the little plug-in SD card reader thing, USB drive, but I realized it was causing like the quality of the videos to go down more. And it also caused like glitches on the screen. So that wasn't it for me. Then I just was like, you know what? DJI came out with this. I always feel like I'm saying DJI, but it's DJI. I love the pocket. And if this is better, then let's see what it's given. This little thing packs so much. Like, you just... And it's on. Like, it's on. Hello? Is it showing me? I always got... I just chose the... I gotta download something and activate it. I'm gonna skip this for now. But I just wanna show y'all. Like, I love this thing. And of course... Oh, my God. They made it so much better, but um, I'm gonna turn it off, put the SD card in and format it. I'm just excited, but I'm gonna switch over to this camera in five, four, three, two. I'm gonna SD card for this may be slow, and I don't know how I feel about that because why would you be slow? Um, 
I was always told that a class 10 SD card should work just fine, but I don't know. Um, but with that being said, it seems I might have to go ahead and get this SD card here. Oh my God, the automatic focus is crazy. That was one of the things that I learned with researching this camera. I've been looking at it for a couple months. I've been seeing it for a couple months, rather. I just started looking into it the past two weeks as to get it for myself. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get the freaking SD card. This is the wide filter, which is magnetic. Hello. I, but that's what all wide angles in my opinion but that's good it's magnetic so it clips right back into the case i'm sure it's supposed to mimic the dji's black mist filter i think it's called the black pro mist i'm so scared to even handle this like it's so small all right so this i think it's supposed to take the exposure down and give it like a artsy fartsy Okay. I need to get it off. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so confused right now. Hold on. I got too much stuff on my vanity. Hence why I'm in the middle of cleaning up for the past week. All right, let's see. Oh, that looks... All right, so it gives it like a little, what is it, a vignette? Vignette, you know, that thing, that little filter on Instagram where it gives like the dark outer corners. This looks interesting. Let's move it down some. Let's move it up. That's level three. This is going to be good for aesthetics. Like if you're an aesthetic, low light creator, which I didn't hear too many good reviews about, but this is the microphone, which looks really cool. And then it has like the handle to put on the actual camera, the little mic um, hair topper, but no, the mic diffuser thingy. But um, yeah, that's what we got. And I'm gonna put this little thing in here. Creator bundle, you won't get all the accessories. I think you'll just get literally the camera and I think that's it, maybe the case, I'm not sure. Um, if you get the creator bundle, that's when you get all the things. It is like 100, 200 more. But for me, it's worth it because I would have just went and bought all the extra stuff anyway. I feel like so why not just go ahead and get it. But that's pretty much that, y'all. We got a new camera. And I'm excited. Probably that needs to go on a duvet. Okay, and I can control it from here. I don't know how the quality is looking. Wait, did I leave the Oh, the exposure is on. Okay, so another reason I wanted to get this camera was because my house does not get that much natural light on the major parts of the house that I'm always in. So um, I'm, I tend to sometimes sleep later and then now it's getting late early or dark early. So with that, I'm just like more so moving around at night. Hence, it's 1 a.m. and I'm about to make my bed, scan in some books and do all of that. So yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, hopefully this camera does good with the low light. Um, with that also, I wanted to mention that a lot of my trial hauls, and you will probably see one in this video, I will start to incorporate them into my vlogs and it won't always just be dedicated try on hauls that way you can get a little bit of life a little bit of fashion a little bit of get ready with me using both like I have so much content like I just got to get to it and kind of organize it how I want it to be and yeah so let's go ahead and make the bed possibly do some book scanning later might put up the um, invisible bookshelves that I did get for the book area but I'm definitely gonna start a load of laundry as well. Remember, hope instead, the best is 
bed is made camera is dying let me charge it really quickly okay so i'm just gonna run up this old sd card before i use the new one but let's go ahead and do this haul i don't want to do too much talking because i feel like i talked enough and i'm trying to do the talk less do more show more i think this is an alex and annie bracelet ever one i think it focused it's just a d I'm so excited about this little thing. So this is a, uh, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Do you see it? It says from the library of Daquana R. White and I'm stamping all of my books. Do you just press it down? How hard do you go? Oh my, do y'all see it? Don't go that hard because you might tear the page, but it looks like this. I'm sorry, I have a problem. I buy too many books. I know that. I love the lines in the top of that. I wanted to get more. These were recommended on TikTok. So Small Worlds and Open Water. Um, And what's crazy is... These gonna be some quick reads, like um, like uh, what are those deals? A lightning deal for thirty nine ninety nine. So I went ahead and got this, and it's for my filming room because that's also where the dogs be chilling out at. Timu, French tips. These are the black tip Q tips. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is just a little like paper sticker not really sticker but different types of papers to just put it's like 200 on here i think it's 366 but yeah just to put in the vision book okay so this came right on time when i wear this people always say it's so nice and they ask me where i got it from and i'd be like timu or shein because i know they both sell them it's the cuban and it has a little bit of weight to it, which I really like. And it's not something I wear always directly on my skin. Usually I have like a turtleneck or a high neck shirt. So this is how it looks. Like you put this on your key holder and you, it's like a card remover grabber. So vintage script, butterfly stamps, like type of paper. If you're reading a book, you know, typically we have to hold it like that. This, you just hold it, put one finger in, and you hold it like that. Now, my book is themed um, Twilight this year, my vision book. Where the hell have you been, loca? <laughs> I'm Team Jacob, if you don't know. And I can, I'm laughing because I can't wait to send this to my cousin. 
she's gonna be like, you're disgusting. Cause she's team Edward, I think. She's gonna be like, girl. Sheets of paper to put in the vision book, but just bigger. Actually comes with the thing, which I like. So maybe I'll just do the Timu haul in this vlog. And this is so nice. Instead of a clothing haul. Just little slight like scrapbooking scraps, frames and stuff for the scrapbook. Okay, the gold D with the lips. These are photo frames to go inside the book. So you take a cute picture for the month because I do a month by month in my vision book. Um, you could definitely put that picture and frame it. Here's the pink. Because my watch holder broke and this is more easily accessible for my watches to just hang them this way instead of my vertical ones which i had so that's this film frames so similar to the photo frames but just film all gold no pink which i already have one but i figured it would start tarnishing and they're like a dollar all silver no pink but yeah just for my desk to hold the keyboard up at an angle instead of flat how it is right now so music frames so excited about that that's what this is they look nice dishes i'm gonna go check one last thing that we have and this is a printer i already know I'm not needing ink i was like oh this is gonna be exciting so you can connect to the app or you can connect it to your computer via the cord, which is in here. So do the side that it's not printing on up. Then I'm gonna put heavy thickness and print. This one actually has an image on it. So it's probably working really hard. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend. What? Oh, I can't wait to show my eye. Like this type of stuff excites us, okay? Do I need my little finger holder? Don't play, don't play. But no, seriously, I put the batteries in. It lights up like that. So yeah, if you need a little lights. Only human reactions, go to. Here's a round of s'mores. Did Edward tell you I had lost a child? Casper hurled the ball back at Alice's waiting hand. She permitted herself a brief grin. Y'all, I've been sleeping in here for the past, what, two days? And it's just been phenomenal, okay? So I'm actually going to get it back together. Um, I'm definitely going to do a reorganize my book room with me um, or book nook. And, um, yeah, I'm super excited. I did add a, um, book cart, as you can see to the left. So all the books that I wanted to read in 2024, I'm going to go ahead and add those. My mom bought me this blanket for, um, Christmas It's so soft and cozy. I love it so much. I'm going to have a time going through all of these books. And I like that my books are kind of in a cave because when you expose stuff like that to direct sunlight, people said it could discolor it. So I like that it's kind of cavey. Here are the other colors. I don't know which one looks better on camera. Green, the white flickers. See what I mean? 
the red looks like uh I don't know I don't like the red for camera purposes but <laughs> it's not the red room but yeah um that's what it's given this app is called bookly and um I will link it down below and all of that if I can pretty sure I can but this just helps me to see all of my books okay right here so I like the grid version um to look at all my books now this is clearly not all my books I have to scan them in which I'm gonna do that probably tomorrow or the next day find the ISBN go ahead and scan it I'm not sure okay I picked it up now if the book isn't the cover you want it to be you could just tap here and it'll change to a different cover go to the next book and it adds it so easily um literally i just have to do that <laughs> to all the books in here oh my books fell that i haven't done already okay because see these two up here they put it i think in the order that i added them so these two up here you would just go and scroll down book options edit it and uh click there search for the cover online that's the option i was looking for and that way i can find my book cover which is this one and it's gonna give you that save it go back up go back it should be correct which it is the love section is right here in my to read category i just have i've been looking at um library organization videos and i just don't know like what i want to do because i wish i had my other camera is so much better um as far as like stabilization i don't know how i want to organize it um i think what i'm gonna do though is this is gonna be all my to read section if that fits 24 books which it should um but also my newer books that I just purchased is probably going to go over there. And then whatever is not new or may have been read, it might just have to move up. It might just have to move up. And it's a lot of space in here. Like, it's some empty shelves in the back of the closet. It's just like, and I'm going to put the invisible shelves up there. So I'm not too worried about space. It's just accessibility and I want to be able to get to the books. But that is it for the night. see that lazy eye do its lazy eye thing Shh. it's okay i have a lazy eye all right let's do it clearly my dogs hate me and they're gonna bark this entire video a good line of sight for y'all I need a close-up mirror to see if there's anything left on my upper lip. Shouldn't be no more interruptions because their workout is done. 
so the dogs are not down there barking like crazy. Did upper lip, under lip. We are about to do chin, cheek. I never really do too much like focusing on a cheek. It's always kind of rough, to be honest. Oh, do y'all need to be pushed down some? I don't know. But um, yeah, I never really focus too much on the cheek area. I kind of just finesse it. But I'm going I'm to try to focus on it a little bit. This wax is going so easy, like, wow. And this is, and we're in the third week right now because my last wax I think was on the 12th or maybe the day like the 11th.
I'm gonna use my hirsutism oil and somebody was like girl what's crazy somebody was like you think your hair is gonna stop growing and I'm like if you would have saw me two three four years ago my hair has definitely slowed pace and I'm using this hirsutism oil which ultimately I'm probably not gonna get that much hair growth so I don't think it's gonna stop growing but I won't be waxing like every two to three weeks in the future I won't be waxing this often so I was saying like I'm gonna miss waxing this often but you know people child everybody is internet comedians but they ain't getting paid for it but that's neither here nor there so I'm gonna use my hirsutism oil which ultimately decreases the amount of hair growth if you're doing your hirsutism oil you're eating better cleaner if you are taking your spearmint or whatever nutrients some people have been taking like different pills and prescriptions and stuff but that's just not my cup of tea And the reason why I'm stopping the camera is because this is not like, these products are not a part of the Trust Wellness sponsored video that I'm filming right now. So this is the Brightening, am I recording? Yeah. The Brightening Post Wax Serum from Slick Wax. I just really love the smell of it and it's supposed to help with dark spots. And then this is from Umber by Jay Lene. Um, and this is again the hirsutism oil. So I just be pausing it. Like I'll put it on, but I'll pause the camera and tell you guys about it because this vlog that you're gonna see this wax in is not like sponsored by Tress, but the tic tac tic tac <laughs> the tic tock that I'm doing is sponsored by Tress, if that makes sense. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I need to wash this wig, the lace on it. I need to um detangle and redefine the curls but it's gonna have to give for this little video period okay like the skin is skinning like this was a really good wax and i feel like i got not every hair on my face but mostly every hair on my face because sometimes i'll be feeling like i didn't get enough hairs and then i'll be feeling like going back so yeah there's that but yeah that was the wax for the next two or three weeks and i do still gotta do my underarms i just don't feel like doing that today and the more i wait the worse it gets but you know me child the great procrastinator i got other stuff to do i got videos to edit and stuff so um yeah and i'm hungry so there's that <laughs>